Okay, so let's run a quick demo on how do we create a new scale-up backup repository and add S3 Glacier to it. We'll go to our backup infrastructure and go to scale-up repositories and let's add a new silver. The performance tier, we can have a local storage now. So let me choose one of my local repositories and I'll hit next. Um, ignoring um, the placement policy right now, but you can see that we have an archive here added, even though the local repository is um, not S3. I can skip completely the capacity tier here. I don't need that for object storage if I don't want to. And now I can go to archive tier and add GFS backups that will go into S3 Glacier. I don't have an um, S3 Glacier repository yet, so let's just quickly add that. Amazon S3 Glacier. And I'm gonna choose from my existing credential and I'm gonna then choose my region, my bucket, and then my testing, uh, my folder that I want to use. And uh, this is not an immutable bucket, so I'm not gonna check this one. Now I have the ability to choose the storage glass based on my need between deep archive, flexible retrieval, and instant retrieval. And I'm gonna configure a helper appliance in case I'm gonna use this uh, Glacier repository later on with something that is running on S3. So I've completed the configuration of that Glacier repository. And now I, it will take me back. Once I hit finish, it will take me back to my Sober. So in the Sober, I have this populated now. Um, two things. One is I need to make sure I know when I don't, I want to move that GFS, those GFS into the Glacier repository. So let's say one. So when the GFS is one day old, and the other thing to remember is that if this is checked um, and my policy retention period is shorter than 180 days, which is the minimum retention on the S3 Glacier Deep Archive, then it will not move the data or the backup into Glacier. So make sure you know that. And that's it. I click apply. So I've created my sober and uh, in a few seconds it will be created and i can go now and create my backup policy that will use this sober and will move data into glacier so let me add a linux computer here and quickly um, so i'm going to add that linux computer that i have running on this environment i um, have that um, credential pre-populated from before, I'll hit next, backup mode, let's do the entire computer, storage, so now I'll we'll choose my new sober, and as I said earlier, the retention policy it will keep the data on that local performance repository, while, so let's say I wanna have this 90 days of incrementals, and then I'll add the GFS checkbox, and I will configure, for example, um, saving this for 30 weeks, which is more than 180 days, and having a monthly for eight months, for example. Um, so this will make sure that both my weekly GFS and my monthly GFS will move into Glacier when time comes. Um, guest processing, if I wanna make anything on those machines, of course and schedule, set it up as we want. Um, this will create, for example, daily incrementals, and that's it. So that's how to create a scale of backup repository that will take your data and send it directly to archive when the policy is met without the need to go through S3 standard before.